Good evening. I'm Kevin Christopher. And I'm Nancy Cox. Thank you for joining us at 11. A federal corruption case has seven major college basketball programs hanging in the balance tonight and a number of coaches, advisors, and apparel representatives facing serious criminal charges. The U.S. attorney in southern New York says it all stems from a pair of schemes to pay off recruits for signing with certain universities, including the University of Louisville. Connor McHugh has more about that and the newest accusations about the school's basketball program that's already under probation. That's the LEX 18 Big Story at 11. Today, we announce charges of fraud and corruption in the world of college basketball. After Tuesday's bombshell announcement by federal investigators, the University of Louisville found itself in the middle of a case full of fraud and bribery accusations. According to the criminal complaint, Louisville, referred to in the document as University 6, became involved while recruiting a top prospect this May. The U.S. attorney in southern New York says James Gatto, the head of global marketing for Adidas, conspired with money managers and an unnamed coach to funnel $100,000 to an all-American high schooler to get him to go to University 6. According to investigators, the deal happened in early June. The same time, five-star recruit Brian Bowen unexpectedly announced he would play ball at U of L. The picture painted by the charges brought today is not a pretty one. According to documents, the Adidas executive tried to set up four payments to the player's family with the hope he would later sign management deals with the global sports company when he went pro. One recording by investigators revealed the crew tried to cover up the payments. In another recording during the recruitment of a second player, the crew acknowledged it had to be, quote, low-key because the university was already on probation. In a statement from U L, the university said it is, quote, committed to ethical behavior and adherence to NCAA rules. Any violations will not be tolerated. Head coach Rick Pitino also released a statement saying in part, these allegations come as a complete shock to me. If true, I agree with the U.S. Attorney's Office that these third-party schemes initiated by a few bad actors, operated to commit fraud on the impacted universities and their basketball programs, end quote. No one from Louisville has been arrested. The FBI says its investigation is ongoing. Covering the news in Lexington, Connor McHugh, LEX 18 News.